So um, what I'm planning to do for this part. Um, so I have this, um, I use IDs uh, for most of the tables. Um, and what I want to do as part of this uh, task, I want to, if it's possible, replace some of them uh, with, uh, with URLs. So since URL is already unique for me, I don't need to have um, additional column with ID, so I can use this URL. The thing is, uh, since I start with IDs, I already have some, um, some foraging keys based on IDs. I, I need to double check. Um, so if I can replace this, um, this um, uh, foraging keys and also this, I have some requests based on ID, if I'm not wrong. If I can replace this part, um, I will um, I will drop usage of IZ column. And how it started in GORM, um, you have to embed GORM.model. Uh, you don't have to, sorry. Uh, yeah, usually you embed, uh, and this this by embedding this, it will provide you uh, some predefined uh, columns, including IZ. Um, and what I started doing is that for some types, I already uh, replaced this um, gorm.model uh, with actual columns. For example, if I need create, uh, add, update it, and delete it, um, and removed what I don't need. So now I want to check if I can use the same approach for other tables. Uh, let's start um, one by one. So for source, we don't need it. Go away. Uh, for source input, let me see. Um, yeah, they, they, uh, these tables are uh, will be relatively small tables. Maybe with hundred records, thousand. So we can leave it for now. And um, and then actually we can like for this source input we can probably rely on on the URL, uh, uh, but this is not necessary for now. So main table that I want to refactor is, is this one, URL, URL itself. And uh, what I am trying to understand if I use this URL.id somewhere. So it refers to source ID, source input ID, that's okay. Um, so we have URL match. Um, yeah, they, they don't have any uh, foraging case. I natively use URL for this purpose. So I can also remove this one. Let me put for now to do's. Remove one. Oh, no. And others already not using it. Cool. Okay, so it's only two table. Um, so for URL, I will check main worker of this uh, part. It is a URLs worker. Uh, let me see if I use ID anyhow, somehow. Ah, okay. And what I want to do also, I want to remove key because if I already have URL why I need key, right? Uh, yeah, it's it's not needed uh, at all. So what I will do, I will also remove this part. Um, and also if I remove uh, field itself, I also need to remove generation of this key. Um, so let me also do double check where I use keys. So this, how is it started? Like I just, um, I was uh, doing tables, preparing these models. And previously I was using all, everywhere this key instead of ID. Um, somehow I copy pasted it and it ended up in, in actual tables. So, and now I have to remove them. So let me, yeah, I think I can already. 
and and let me also think um is this enough so for your role i have created that updated that probably delete that do i need to delete that so delete that is uh, something like uh, from gorm also um i, I think I, I will need it and it marks um record like it's, it's basically soft delete right if when you call delete it will add some information on this column and next time when you query it will ignore these columns uh very simple right um and now yeah i think i will keep it for now so what i will do i will index okay i'm okay with indexing it and same here okay and uh, as a result, I need to delete this one. Uh, and most probably I don't use ID anywhere. We will manually test it, manually verify if it, everything okay. And uh, let me go here. And maybe what I can do. Um, I don't have m almost any tests. Um, but I like still doing this just to verify I don't have at least syntax errors or something. Okay, so it seems we don't have any problems by deleting these fields. Okay, I was expecting um, much more work actually for this part. Uh, okay, so if we don't have any issues, uh, what I'm gonna do, I will uh, recreate my database. Um, and, and then run application to see if everything works. And by the way, why on production, uh, it's a bit of topic I know, yeah. No, look, okay. Uh, I, sometimes this worker fails. I will need to check it as well. Okay, so now we have this database. Uh, what I can do? Yeah, I can just run it. So let me stop everything and run where else. So this will um, execute URL's uh, sub-module um, and generate um, all these uh, tables again. And, and then it will generate based on a new structure that we just uh, finished. Um, and as I mentioned many times, uh, I, I put this flag, so compile, like every time I click run, I compile whole project again just to avoid any caching so we can see here um, this is for old one yeah okay so we have application started and cool I think uh, we already have some data already saved I will check database directly and I will wait for a moment because um, um, in this pipeline, there might, might be other places where you, we use this information, we rely on this information, so I want to see if they also work. But in general, uh, this is a table that we updated, basically. Uh, it's on Docker, and uh, as you can see, we don't have ID, and we don't have key. And let me also double check structure. Um, key okay so i think this is old one let me refresh yeah so we don't have key we have indexes properly configured we have url cool um yeah I, uh, th this is uh, one of the advantages why i still stick with uh, uh with gorm 
because otherwise it will be like uh, a lot of manual work for this part so what I will do now I will just commit uh, this um, so remove ID and key um, columns uh, fields so we, we did it from model uh, which is closest let me see if, if we if this was all the work 